Republic Act 9349, eh, isang batas that expressly says that the hospitals cannot detain the body of a patient, whether dead or alive, for non-payment of bills. Sa hirap ng panahon ngayon at pag kayo ay na hospital, hindi lang yung may sakit ang ating problema at ating problema rin is how to pay the hospital bills. And uh, ang dami nating batas na tungkol sa detention but now hospital uh, Republic Act 9349 specifically says that you cannot detain no a patient whether dead or alive just because hindi siya makapayat ng hospital bills ang detention ay uh, dinidefine ng Republic Act 9439 as having restrained from leaving the hospital or medical clinic premises for non-payment of bill. So, pag there is no longer any reason for you to stay at the hospital at uh, ikaw ay ready to go, but hindi ka pinayagang lumabas dahil may hindi ka bayad sa hospital bills, that is considered as detention ng ating Republic Act. Uh, ito ay ini-implement din ng uh, DOH Administrative Order 2008-001 or yung implementing rules ng batas na ito. And uh, uh, pag uh, living person ang dinidetain, eh, may mga elements na ito. Limbawa, one is that the patient is partially or fully recovered and has expressed his or her intention to leave the hospital or medical clinic. So, magaling ka na, ayaw mo nang makonfine, you express your intention na hindi ka na magpapakonfine. Then, uh, pangalawa na requirement dito is the medical expense, meaning hospitalization expenses including laboratory fees, doctor's fees, etc. Eh, unpaid or there is a balance. Pangatlo, the patient must execute a promissory note for the unpaid bills. So, pwede kang lumabas pero kailangan mag-execute ka ng promissory note. And the fourth element, the uh, officer employee of the hospital na responsible for releasing the patient refuses to let the patient live. Ito yung living patient na sinasabi natin na defined by this law. So, ayaw kang palabasin dahil ikaw ay may balanse. Meron din tayong uh, ordinance dito, yung Patients' Rights Act, na sinulat natin noon na covering the same subject matter. Pagpatay naman yung hospital, ito naman yung elements. One, the medical officer attending to the patient has made a pronouncement of death. So, patay na yung pasyente. Two, any of the surviving relatives of the deceased person is incapable of paying the corresponding bills or medical expenses. Uh, at pangatlo, the hospital administrator or the medical officer refuses to release the cadaver of the patient who died in the hospital. Uh, ang nakikita natin sa batas na ito ay isang common element. And ang common element na ito is hindi ka pwedeng pigilan but ang condition is you should execute a promissory note na babayaran mo yung hospital bills. At uh, pag ito ay na-violate ng isang hospital, Meron siyang fine of not less than 20,000 pesos to 50,000 pesos. Or yung administrator or yung medical officer 
na ayaw pumayag kang marilis ay mapapreso. There is an imprisonment of one month to six months in prison. Thank you.